Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ape Escape 2. We're going to Viva Ape Spania. And we're probably gonna get a new gadget. Lightning speed with a super hoop. A bit of training in the gadget trainer, and you'll be as fast as the wind. Do you wanna go to the gadget trainer now? Sure, but what I was gonna be saying was we're probably gonna be fighting our first boss in this video. Since I'm pretty sure the first boss is after this next level. The Super Hoop Gadget gives a short burst of speed. First, rapidly rotate the right analog stick. When it's charged up, press the left analog stick in the direction you want to run. You'll zoom off in a flash. You can also damage enemies by slamming into them while the super hoop is spinning. Try it on those enemies. Alright, so we can run into enemies to hurt them. And it's a good old time. Anyways. Not only does it hurt enemies. Now try to get past the slippery slope. You never get past it without the super hoop. Once again, rotate the right analog stick. Now, press the left analog stick in the direction you want to run. You'll speed right up to the top. Yes, we can also get up slippery slopes. As you see, we just fall flat on our face if we don't use this. But if we use it, we can just run right on up and over. Very nice. And we also know that this is quite fast, so what else could we use it for? Looking good! Now I want you to try to clear an area on your own. I can't help you every time, or you won't learn to think for yourself. So, give it your best shot. Okay, fine. I'll do my job as a commentator and actually talk about how this works. So you step on this button, the door goes up. Step off of it, the door goes down, or these bars, it's not really a door, but they go down too fast for us to get through, so let's go faster. And move on to Viva Ape Spania. So, man, there's a lot more monkeys in this level than in the previous ones. We can already see one on top of the slope there. And we have our first blue pants monkey. Uh, which, I mean, we've had light blue before, but this is our first, like, normal blue pants monkey. Oh, I broke my combo there. I'm taking it out on you, Pogo. I was getting a good coin combo, but... I mean, it actually wasn't too bad. Anyways, the blue pants monkeys run very fast, so obviously the super hoop is really helpful for catching them. Wow, he scratched me. There we go. That was a bit of a mess. Slope is a weird name for a monkey, but it's fitting for where you were. Wow, that really shouldn't have caught him, but I'm glad it did. Okay, looks like we got some coins over here. Some more over here, which, of course, we're gonna collect as many as we can. So we can get everything from the gotcha box. Monkeys wearing blue pants can move like the wind. You can't just simply walk up and catch them. They'll be gone in a flash. You'll have to boost your speed to outrun them, or be sneaky and catch them by surprise. 
By the way, the super hoop is the gadget that I really wanted to be on the circle button, so I did this right. <laughs> Let's try out that sneaky technique, see how well it works. Worked pretty well. Carlito. So there, he was... That monkey's special gimmick was that he was good at dodging. And that guy's issue was exactly in his name. He trips a lot, which makes him a lot easier to catch than most blue pants monkeys. So... Is there anything else down here that doesn't involve all these buttons on the wall? It's not looking like it. Alright. That activated a little elevator. Yes, Pipuchi, I already hit that with my stun club. Thank you, though. Wow, he saw me before I saw me because of that camera. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Anyways, where's that other button we saw? I think it was over here. There we go. And of course, we could easily slip off of the roofs up here. So we're gonna wanna use our We're gonna wanna use our super hoop, which I guess I didn't activate fast enough. And what's what does this button do? It makes a bridge, but once we go off the button, the bridge retracts. So we wanna push this block onto that button. And the bridge stays open. Simple as that. That guy did not stand a chance. Alright, let's explore these roofs a bit more. Because I can see there's a place we can get to over on this side which just appears to be a safe spot to stand. I can't hit the little piggy with my... Um, uh, with my nut. That doesn't work. Oh, I see there's another monkey up there, so let's head that way before we go in there. Or we can just not go in there, because we already caught enough monkeys. Okay. That's fine. Boss time! Top banana. I'm gonna show the boss that I'm Top Banana. He doesn't stand a chance. Defeat one monkey! Not catch, defeat. Kid, huh? you did good making it this far. Ever hear of the Freaky Monkey Five? Well, I'm Blue Monkey. The boss has ordered me to stop you, so I'm afraid that's what I gotta do. Don't take it personal, kid. I'm doing this for all the little monkeys out there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, you're definitely not a coward, are you? Hey, kid, 
Didn't your mama ever teach you not to cross at a red light? Well, I'll make sure you never forget. Ha! Go! Hiya! Um, wouldn't it be that you would cross at a red light? You don't drive at a red light, but a red light would mean that it's safe to cross. Anyways, so he's basically got his own super hoop along with some bombs and when the lights turn yellow then that means that they're about to turn red and when they turn red that means that the bridge will fall apart when you, you're on it like that. Go home to your mama. And also, you know how I mentioned before that, like, the blue light on his head, uh, on his head, not on the stage, but on his head would mean that he doesn't notice you're there, and the yellow light means he's alert, and the red one means that... Ooh, I didn't activate my hoop fast enough, but yeah, and the red one would mean that he's aware of you, well, in boss fights, the light on their head works differently, where blue means you haven't really done much to him. He can't go across on a red either. And yellow means you've hurt him a bit, and red means they're almost defeated. That was a bit glitchy. Normally, the way I do this is I chase him around with my super hoop. But I've mostly been staying in one place in this attempt for some reason. Which, I can't say that it's been working out well for me, because I've taken a lot of damage, whereas I normally hardly take any, so let's actually chase after him now. So that definitely appears to be the better way to do things. Was he saying something? I hope you could hear whatever he said. Because I couldn't. But yeah, we caught Blue Monkey, the first of the Freaky Monkey Five. Nice job! was talking about. Alright, time for the gacha box, which I'll probably cut most of this out. Alright, I was hoping this would happen. We won some cookies, because our health carries over from level to level. So I was hoping I'd get some cookies there. Anyways, cutting again, mo or not, never mind. You've won Natalie's research memo. I discovered an amazing fact today. It seems that some plants have blood types similar to humans. For example, Japanese radishes are of type O and prunes are of type AB. Great, my research has advanced even further. I wonder what I should examine next. Why is it that both of Natalie's research memos so far have had to do with blood? You have won a game hint. The water cannon is not only good for putting out flames, it can also be used to repair damaged vehicles. Spoiler for a new gadget in this game. Hey, we won jumbo coins, which are those silver stars, apparently. The nice thing about this that Smash Bros. could learn from is the fact that you can't get repeats from the gotcha box unless it's something that you can't store. Uh, but yeah, Smash Bros. could definitely learn from that. Anyways, so that's about it for this video. In the next video, we will be going to Castle Frightmare. I'm the Terminian Hero. And I will see you then.